So this video is a bit of a, a bit of an information dump more than anything. I recently purchased off eBay a Nintendo Switch that was faulty that would not power on at all. I tried to switch batteries with a known working one, fully charged, couldn't get any life out of it at all, drawing no amps. From there I also tried a various other different things, all still with no power. And from a bit of research online, most of it seems to point back to non-original docks being used, which seem to be burning out the M92T36 power IC on the board. So, with that little bit of information, I thought I'll have a bit of attempt of a BGA rework on this. Another thing to note, that chip, it also does handle image, so it's not quite purely power IC, but it does have some other functions, which, being it's not distributing power, I find it a good idea to start at this one. Another symptom I was getting with this was sticking it on the genuine dock. It was passing through 5 volt perfectly fine the dock, except the green light that's on the dock itself would rap rapidly blink green, which to me is, tells me it's a bit of a communication error between the switch and the dock, which hopefully points to this IC being the issue. But this is yeah, a very first attempt I've done on one of these, which I made sure it was my own personal device, not a customer's. Definitely not worth experimenting this kind of stuff with customers. But this one's a bit of my own curiosity to hopefully learn a new skill and also gain a bit more knowledge on the Nintendo Switches which compared to mobile phones is slightly bigger. Removing a BGA chip this big, or you wouldn't actually really come across a BGA chip this big on a mobile phone, or at least a modern smartphone. Maybe something similar to the S Galaxy S2s and earlier, but definitely not in the current versions. Anyway, I've currently got the temperature on this set to around about... Well, but I started at 250 degrees, and at this point in time I've currently got it at 280 degrees Celsius and I have the flow of it, the airflow set to around 50 so it's a relatively slow heat coming out of it. So I've reapplied a couple of different flux that I've had around and so far it's been fairly stubborn. Granted I also believe that was just me being a bit impatient with the removal of the chip. But anyway I'm hoping in the, down the line when I get some replacement ICs, I'll be able to successfully reattach it, and from there, hopefully, I'll get myself a working switch. A few other different symptoms I was getting with this was there was no power going through or being drawn by it, no matter what configuration. So I had everything disconnected but the battery to the mainboard, the system fan and also the power button. No matter what button presses I would do, there would be no amperage draw in or no draw into the actual into the switch, either to the battery or even with and without the battery connected. So I'm fingers crossed with the removal of this and a reinstallation, it would be up and going once more. But anyway, I'll let the video play out from here. I do get a relatively clean removal of it. We'll need to go over it with a soldering iron to hopefully even up some of the traces, or some, uh, some of the pads, not the traces. No traces were pulled, which was, I'm very happy with, but also it also reflects the quality, or the quality of the, so, uh, the rework station, which I've also been pretty impressed with. Anyway, I'll hopefully have an update in a month or so when I receive the ICs, and hopefully some positive news. Anyway, I'll let, put this video up and see what people think and go from there. Catch you later.